Hey everyone, my name is Shivam Kejriwal. Welcome to the first episode of the series Spec and Inspect. And in this series, I will be talking about some of the specifications of some of the most anticipated smartphones right now in this world and would be talking about my personal impressions about them. So yes, so this is a series which I've started just now and if you have any suggestions about it, do let me know in the comment section below and I would really really appreciate it. So yes, without any further ado, let us start it and talk about the Redmi 3 which Xiaomi launched in an event which they hold up back in China on 11 January. So yes, this device is priced very aggressively and is having a nice amount of specifications. So without any further ado, let us start it and talk about it. Firstly, we have a specification that the device is having a fully metallic back body design, which is of course a unibody. So of course, Xiaomi giving it in a non-flagship series like the Redmi series is definitely very nice because the previous generation smartphones for the Redmi series like the Redmi 1S 2 or the 2 Prime were having non-metallic body design and I think that this is making a signature for Xiaomi company because they provided another flagship series, uh, the Redmi Note 3 with a metallic body design and again they have given this in the Redmi 3 and I think that this is becoming a uh, like kind of uh, signature for Xiaomi company so I think that that is a really nice thing. Secondly we have a dual sim 4G support for this device and again I think that that is a really nice thing for a non-flagship series to have. On number 3 we have a 5 inch HD display that the company would be providing and I think that it shouldn't be a kind of a problem because the Redmi Note 4G which is another uh, non-flagship device from Xiaomi is having a HD display and it is a 5.5 inch display again a bigger display but it is my primary device and I don't feel anything wrong with it or the pixels getting torn off or anything like that so the overall uh, display quality on the redmi note 4g is really nice with 5.5 inches on hd and i think that 5 inches shouldn't be of any kind of a problem so yes i think that that is nothing kind of a problem and xiaomi didn't do anything bad in this section other than that we have a 13 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front facing camera and i think that that is again the same sensors that they used in the redmi note 4g and I am having it as my primary device as I already told and I think that it is having a really really good uh, picture quality so, so I think that picture quality on the Redmi 3 should again not be a problem at all. But what one pro problem that I am having in this uh, section that is the camera section is that it is having 2.2 aperture so I think that that is a really really great aperture quality quantity and I think that it should uh, mean that the bokeh effect in on this device shouldn't be of very good quality. So again, that is something that I am really, really not appreciating about Xiaomi being using in this device. But we actually cannot do anything about it. Maybe the processing can turn out to be really nice. But overall, the bokeh quality is not going to be uh, quite nice in this smartphone. So coming to the number fifth specification, great specification about this smartphone. And that is it is having 16 GB internal and 128 GB ex uh, external expandable storage. So I have a query for Xiaomi in here. They said in a statement very clearly that none of the following smartphones from Xiaomi should be expected to have a micro SD expansion. And I think that uh, Xiaomi just failed in that statement by providing the Redmi 3. I don't know what happened. Public wasn't happy or something like that. Again, there is, this is quite uh, very appreciable for the company, but they are not even considering their own statements. And that is the thing which I am very much uncomfortable about saying about Xiaomi. So yes, this is a nice thing, but not for the company as a point of view from a statement. So coming to the next specification, we have 2 GB of RAM. The previous generations like the regular generations like the Redmi 1S and the Redmi 2 were having only 1, 1 GB of RAM each and that I think wasn't really nice and uh, many people of course complained about it and they provided the prime variant of the Redmi 2 with 2 GB of RAM and now we have the Redmi 3 regular variant with 2 GB of RAM. So that is again quite, quite of appreciable for the company. Talking about hardware, we have a Snapdragon 616 processor inside, the successor to the 615 processor. Of course, it is the octa-core processor with 1.5 GHz clock frequency for each and every core. So I think that it is a really nice processor and if it doesn't heat like its predecessor, it would be a really nice thing because the 615 did perform really well except for the fact it heated up a lot but if the company fixed the heating issues, again this can turn out to be a really nice uh, hardware processor. Along with that, we also have the GPU Adreno 405 and again that performs really nice and no problems in there. Along with that, we have again have a very really nice news for gamers and that is it is having a 4100 mAh battery. And if I recall, the device is somewhere around 8.5 mm thick and about uh, 150 or 145 grams of weight and the 
company has managed to keep the battery high along with the ergonomics of the device really really compact and he uh, light and i think that it is again a really nice thing and appreciatable for the company so along with that we have micro usb support no usb type c here but we have micro usb support and that is not kind of a very old kind of thing right now but of course usb type c could be seen in the f further devices but as of now we only have the usb 2.0 micro usb support Coming to the next point, it is priced at around $105. So that stands at around somewhere around 7100 Indian rupees. And I think that it is a fair price for what we are getting. It is really, really a nice uh, uh, price section. So I think that if it uh, manages to come in India, if this device manages to come in India, it is of course going to come out really, really nicely. And uh, it is of course going to hit the Indian markets with a bang. So let us now talk about the expected dates at which the, this device can be expected here in India. So if the company plans to bring the Mi 5 in India 2 at the exact same time when they bring it in China, I sh shall say that Redmi 3 should come along with that phone because the Mi 5 is expected to be launched at somewhere around uh, February 8 on the Chinese New Year and people are saying that uh, it would be launched and it is said, said by the CEO that it will launch at that day and if it launches here in India too I should say that the Redmi 3 should uh, come along with that device so launching a flagship device along, along with a non-flagship series I think that it would be kind of a very judicious thing so if the company doesn't plan to uh, like bring the Mi 5 here in India I am expecting that this device the Redmi 3 should come at around uh, the halfway through the January so I think that it should be launched around 20 or 25 of January and I think that it would be really of a very nice thing. So yes with that said we finally come to the end of this video. If you have any query regarding this device or regarding this series spec and inspect you can contact me down in the comment section below and don't let me know about the timing. I know that I am really bad poet and cannot make poems. But if you have any other query do let me know in the comment section below and yes that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.